And we are live. Sorry, guys, I had my camera the wrong way, but we are here and we are live. Heather Boyd Wire here, Wire Lady TV, usually every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's been two weeks that I haven't been live, so uh, we're I'm just a little rusty with the technology, but we are here. Hi, Amber. Thank you so much for hopping on. I just had some technical issues. It'd been so long, I forgot what side that I put my camera on, so we're good. And today we are doing Easter uh, items for... Easter. That was Amber's suggestion. So here we have a whole bunch of Easter things. I tried to not repeat stuff I've done before. Here's some like really super rough sketches of ones that I did in previous live streams. So I'm trying not to repeat myself. And what I'm going to do is without further ado, cute stuff, eh? So let's flip the screen and you can let me know what I should work on. So we're going to flip this over and hope that it's in a good position. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We're going to move this up. Uh, and that's a little far away from me. So what I'm going to do is actually move my, oh no, wrong way. Move it this way. That should be better. Okay, we're getting there. Hi, Connie. Spiffy. Love it. Awesome. So we're going to do some Easter things. You guys can let me know which ones you like. I've done bunnies in previous live streams. I don't know if I've done a specific Easter live stream. I did some around Easter with bunnies and Easter eggs and stuff. So these are, like I said, these ones here were the ones I'd kind of already done. So I'm gonna steer away from those, try to do some of these. And I will also let people know that I'm live. So let me just grab my iPad and share the link. So. This is, I'm trying to get in a routine of letting people know when I'm live and then they can hop on because not everybody gets notifications. So be sure if you're watching a live or watching the replay to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so that you know when I go live. So I'm just going to look it up now. And so we can see where we're at. Okay, so there's the channel. Here's the channel. I just posted a slideshow of viewers work. So all the slideshows from the Heather Boyd Wire tutorials are going to be on this new channel. And then if you go to live, there we are live. So I'm going to actually make sure my sounds off. We're going to pick that one up. I am going to grab the link if I can. Hmm. I don't know. Usually there's a way to, if I close that there we go. We can share it. Copy link. So if ever you guys want to share this stuff, that would be great. And then I'm going to share it on my other channel, which is, this is my regular channel for tutorials. So you see all the videos, all the tutorials. I used to go live on this channel, but now I'm on the new channel. So I'll just go to the community section and I am going to post a link. I don't know why it's dark. Live stream. Whoops, live stream happening now, happening now. So we're going to click that link, paste, post, and there we go. So we've got live stream happening now, and that's good. I don't have to share it everywhere. People will find me. And what are we going to make, guys? Hi, Mirta. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for hopping on, guys. So let's do some of these. Uh, you know me, I like to warm up with the 20 gauge wire. So let me find some of the 20 gauge and we can just start with a simple thing to warm up. I thought it'd be really cute to do a charm bracelet, that, but that might be a project for another time because that would take a long time. So what I'm going to do is just grab my water. Excuse me. I got my water. Oh, there's a cute doggy in our front yard. Mm -hmm. It's a couple that walk by with their basset hound. I used to have two basset hounds, but sadly one of them is no longer with us. So now they walk with their one basset hounds, hound, singular. So let's, you know what I wanted to try was this bunny from the back. Oh, and then I need my beads. So let me get my beads out. And I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do that one. But so we've got our all our different beads here. And... 
These are all my favorite beads, of course. The Miracle Beads, large, four millimeters, <clears throat> six millimeter. And then maybe I'll get a little, a little pearl for the bunny tail. So let's try, let's start with that. I have a bunch of other bunnies. Also the dangly bunny tail I thought would be really cute too. So let's do that one too. So I am going to maybe get my ruler. I should be a little more organized with measuring things. Yeah, I'll get my metal ruler. I think it's going to be easier. Okay, metal ruler. And bunny would be cute. Yeah, so let's start with the simple one. Keep it easy. I also like the basket, so I would like to do the basket as well. And let's cut. I don't think we need too much. Maybe max 10, 10 um Inches. Let's move this stuff over so it's not in the way. And of course, to straighten our wire, we can use the nylon jaw pliers. So let's do that. I'll just straighten it out a bit. Especially there's a little kink there from where I bent it to go in the container. So there's our. This sheep is cute too. I thought that would be cute with black and white, but that's, I don't know, it's sort of Easter. Now, the question was, was I going to finish it at the bottom or at the top? So why don't we try two different ways? Because maybe this one I'll finish at the bottom. No, that one's I'm going to finish. That one I'm going to finish at the bottom. So let's finish this one at the top. Okay, so we're going to put the bead first. I'm going to take this. We all love bunnies. Bunnies are the best. The wreath is cute too. I really like the wreath. I think I'll do that one next. This is going to be my warm up. And then, because I was thinking I could do the wreath or the tree, but I think the wreath would be fun. It's something different. So let's do, start this in the middle bottom to, for the bunny tail. And we're going to go around one way. And then we're going to go around the other way. Let me just see what I've got there. Uh, I think I want to go around a full, a full circle too. So if we do this, and this, this reminds me, I make some camera earrings, and I actually have the lens is a bead. Okay, so that's a way to surround the bead with wire, and we are going to take our tools. So I will get these are my favorite small round nose pliers. I have the beetle on uh, looping pliers, and I have the fur on flat nose or tweezer nose pliers. So let's see what we can do with those. I try to use tools that are available for you guys online because I have some other tools that are a little older, but that you can't really find online. So if we say we curve this up a little bit to form kind of a butt thing and then bring it back down so there's a bit of a curve. And I don't want to make this too big. So then we're going to bring this one out here. And, mm -hmm. and then this one out with the more or less the same size. And then we need to do those big floppy feet. So what if we take this one? I hope I cut this long enough. We're going to bring that one out here. And then this one. You could measure it or you can eyeball it. I'm going to bring this one out here. And then we're going to form the kind of feet thing. Hopefully they don't look like little turtle feet. They kind of do. That's okay. And then we're going to bring this one down here, over, down, here. Yeah, we still haven't got everybody on board with the new channel, but hopefully people are going to find us here eventually. Eventually. We've had some people um, subscribe, which has been great, because otherwise people won't really see the live streams. But everything is a process. Every, but everything takes a little bit of time, and that's where we're at right now. It's just trying to morph people over to this new channel just to keep things organized so here is doesn't really look like a bunny yet but this is the idea and then we want to bend it out for the head 
So we're gonna bring that one out here. And then this one, I might wanna flatten this more. I think I'm finding they look a little bit like turtle feet and I'm not sure why. Okay, we're gonna bring this one out here and curve it around and then bend this one out. So hopefully it's in the same position. I think it's got, it's a little smaller so we can fix that up. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do that. And uh, I put a new slideshow out of viewers work, which is great. Uh, Sharon has something in there and I'm trying to think who else, if Amber had one. Amber, you just shared one in the Wire Makers Club, which was so beautiful, that cat angel. And um, yeah, thank you for doing that. And I just missed the slideshow, so it'll be the next time. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. And Latidra's here. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. You found us on the new channel. There we go. So we are doing a bunny. I'm just trying to shape the head. I guess it might be easier if I actually trace this template. That might be a better idea. I didn't think about that, but it's just the idea. We're trying to make it really cute. I'm gonna bring this one out and then up for the ear. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna bring this one around and this one out. So they kind of match. So that you're getting it, you're getting the idea. So here's Bunny. And then we wanna form the ears. Let's make some decent sized ears. We're gonna bring this one out. Yeah, so far so good today. It's a beautiful sunny day in Montreal, which is nice. Blue sky. Can't complain about blue sky, that's for sure. So we're gonna bring this one in here. So there's one ear. And the question is, how do we attach? How do we attach this? That's the question. So we're trying to make it clean-ish. Because my idea was to do the loop there and then finish it at the bottom. But because we are we started at the bottom, this one I'm going to do that way and finish at the bottom. So it's always a decision of how you want to finish it. And that's the tricky part because sometimes it's hard to know the best way to finish the wire. So here's the bunny, which is super cute. You can just... And I guess... We could finish it on one end, but it might flop over to the side a little bit. So the other thing we can do is, I don't know how well that's gonna go. We can just try to finish and try to do a little loop in the middle, I guess. We did, if we did a little loop in the middle, maybe we could hang it somehow with a chain or something. Let's try it that way, just to keep it simple. It's, it's a real challenge to try to get really clean lines that's an issue. Mosquitoes. Oh no. I hope you have a malaria shot or maybe you don't need malaria shots where you are. But um, we don't need them here. But I knew a woman who was from Africa who went home to do some research or work or whatever she was doing there. And she, I guess she hadn't had a malaria shot and she passed away from malaria, which was tragic because she was from there. You'd think she would know that she needed the malaria shot but um, I think in Canada we don't have that issue the only issues we have are with ticks and people getting Lyme's disease which is not fun but that also can be if you treat it right away it's okay okay so there I've never heard of a vaccine or anything for Lyme's disease but that's probably something they will develop they always develop those things so here's our bunny with the little funny little finish at the at the middle. So like, how in the heck are we gonna, it's just cleaner than, than attaching the ends. But what you can do is, cause I could have hung it, let me just see how it's gonna work. If I hang it from one ear, yeah, it's gonna sit to the side, which isn't awful. But this way, you could also take another piece of wire I don't know if you want to add beads to it, but I guess you could to make it maybe a little more finished. 
And we can cold, cloudy, windy. Oof. Looks pretty close to the original pattern. Yeah, we're getting here. So let's take this and bring this one around. So we are going to, yeah, my brain has a bit of a, a memory thing. So probably it remembers having drawn that template and then it's able to uh, reproduce it. So now we want to, oops, wrong tools. We want to close this loop here. Close it up. I'll bring that straight up. So here's, see what I mean? Like you can just hang it from there. And doesn't it look nice and clean? I think that looks really nice and clean. So why don't we put some pretty beads hanging down? Like maybe some crystals or something might be nice. So it so it's not too distracting. You know what? I have some nice crystal beads. Let me just try it. Whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. Let me just try to dig in my in my drawer here to see if I could find the crystal beads because I think they'd be prettier, prettier than those ones. But the trouble is, am I gonna be able to find them? I'm gonna look quickly, pull all my beads out, and Ah, I didn't have to pull them all out. Amber and I were talking about this the other day, in which was a discussion I had with Mimi about, um, and which originated from a class with my friend Serena when we were paint when we we're painting. So we were doing a project called the Tree of Life with my friend Serena. I posted a video about her work and her teachings on my art channel, and when you're painting. She, Serena always says, you know, you get to this ugly stage where you look at your work and you're like, oh, you know, it's really ugly. And how am I going to get beyond that? But then when you continue painting, especially with acrylic paint, because you can layer paint and make changes and all that stuff. So you get beyond the ugly stage and, um, and then it becomes something beautiful. So the analogy that... The analogy that Mimi had was when you're cleaning your room. And so when you're cleaning your room, you pull everything out and you, you know, your room looks ugly, you know, messy because you pulled everything out. But then you start to put it away and classify things and organize things. And then it becomes something beautiful. And I thought that was an interesting analogy, uh, you know, for a life analogy. And actually, when I tried to explain it to Amber, I mixed up my analogies and I was, and I said, oh, you know, um, we were talking about how with conflicts with people, you know, things can get really ugly and really argumentative and, and, you know, you know, really scary sometimes, like, like ugly. And, but then when you actually are able to express yourself and, have the other person, you know, understand where you're coming from and you understand from there where they're coming from, it could become a beautiful thing. So there's everything has parallels in life, you know, art, human relations, clean your house, all that stuff. So now that I've been blabbering along as I go, getting philosophical but that's always fun those are the best discussions and we are going to maybe mix this with some pearls or something I'm just trying to make this kind of interesting so if I put a crystal a pearl another crystal it almost becomes like a little mini sun catcher which is interesting and we can put another pearl here <laughs> there we go so nice there we go. Perfect. So how's that? It's really, really cute, actually. So it's like a mini sun catcher, but also would make a cute pendant or an earring. And it's just a solution on how to finish the wire, make it look clean and functional at the same time. So now what we're going to do, thank you. Uh, we are going to take this, cut it to three eighths to half an inch. And then get our round pliers. You could get the step pliers as well, or these round pliers, and bring it around, back and around. That's how I do my loops, you know, back and around. So there is our 
loop and there's our little cute little bunny with the tail adorable so let's put that one at the side and then the other one is i wanted to do one with this dangly one so let's do that that one did i say i'm gonna that one i said i was gonna finish at the bottom so let's go ahead and do that probably eight adorable thank you let's get eight uh, inches which is probably plenty more than enough famous last words and let's go ahead I'm going to remove this remove these beads and put them back in the bag let's try to stay organized shall we there we go okay here we're going to do bunny with the dangling tail and get our round pliers and then I'm going to do the wreath I think that'll be fun the eggs are cute too the easter eggs with the patterns I could be here all day and let's go ahead and turn this at the halfway point we can turn this up and around curve them out and then we're going to do the ears I guess we would just dangle this from one of the ears and so it doesn't come out let's try to make these so the ears close at the bottom because we don't want the we don't want it to come out of there okay let's do that let's try to do that that and down that way and then out that way we can even put a bow on the head or something so there's one ear endless possibilities i'm telling you there's just so much we could be here all day definitely could have done two weeks of easter but easter is on monday so we don't have time for two weeks of easter live streams so we're going to bring this one in yeah i would have done one last week but i had an appointment so i just could not be here and then i couldn't find another day that would work that's the trouble wednesday seems to be a decent day okay so here's the ears they're not perfect, but that's okay. And then we're going to curve it around. Either you could do it with your finger or we can get these looping pliers and bring it in. I really love these looping pliers. I use these a lot. I've been using them a lot recently. So there's, oops. Just get it too round that time. Sometimes it's better to do it by hand. That's kind of cute. There's. There's a little face here, and let's do this side around here. Okay, so here's the face, cute little bunny. I could bring this up a little closer, I guess. And then we just need to curve it out here. We're gonna curve it around with our hand, our finger a bit, and then here. Love the ears. Thank you. Bunny ears are so cute. When we go for our walk at night, we usually see some bunnies. They're adorable. And we have two that live in our yard, which is really nice. Two little bunnies, little brown bunnies. They're so cute. Okay, so let's bring this one out. And this one. Okay, so that's our, I don't want the face to be a little chubbier mm -hmm. that's a little square I might put some I might put some uh, whiskers on it or I could even put I could even put a bow at the top to hold the ears together but it's probably all right what I really wanted to do was just to even use this for the round form this is the ring cone Bring it around here and then bring it around here. Or you could bring it around a marker. The ring cone works pretty well. See there, it's a little more round. And then what I want to do is finish it how I finished the other one. So I'll take the end of my looping pliers. Warren's running around all under my parking lot. Oh, good. Running. Bunny's almost. Oh, bunnies. Yeah. Bunnies are so sweet. There we go. They're the best. There. So we have one little loop. And then this one, we want to match them up as we did the top. 
So you can kind of adjust this to where you want the other loop to be right underneath it. And it has to be a little bit wider there. And then we're gonna bring that one around. So now we're just doing little one loop on top of the other, kind of how we did the top. I cut my wire too long. So probably six inches would have been fine for this. Your daughter has three bunnies. Oh, every day. Oh my goodness. I love bunnies. You should send me a picture, Connie. There we go. Bunnies too. Corey, how are you? I missed you coming in. There we go. Oh yeah, foxes. Yeah, we have foxes. I forgive the foxes. What I don't forgive are the neighborhood cats that go after our bunnies because that's not normal. They have lots of food at home. They don't need to eat our bunnies. And that really irritates me. But can't do much about it other than try to put a bell on them, but I don't think their owners would appreciate it. So here is our bunny. Wow, there's a noisy bird outside. And wazoki kitty. I don't know what that is. Mark's going to investigate. Can you guys hear that crow? Oh my goodness, it's so noisy. Okay, so there's what the, what I was, I mean, that even looks like the tail, right? That could represent the tail. But what I wanted to do was to have these one loop on top of the other and then dangle a bead. But do I have a head pin? Do I have a head pin? Mm -hmm. Usually I have a random head pin in there, but what I'm going to do is find a head pin because I don't want it to be, uh, to have a little loop on the end. So I'm sure I have head pins in my stuff. I just have to, oh, here's my necklace making stuff. Somebody asked me in the wire makers club about uh, crimping. And these, the video I sent to them was this video using the Zuron crimpers. Because these are amazing. These are the best crimpers I've ever used. So if you need a good crimper, I recommend that. So now we have head pins. This is all my necklace making stuff. We got some head pins. So we are going to use those. Take that out. It's a little long. I could have got away with a one inch head pin, but so far this is all I can find. So let's put there and then we're going to cut this. We don't want a huge loop, but we don't want it big enough. We want it big enough. So let's say about three eighths of an inch. Has to fit through both loops. Uh, he's now probably getting his prey, yes. Jackalopes here. Hmm, wow, that's cool. Crimping, yeah, well those crimping tools by Zuron are honestly the best I've ever used because I used to scrap crimps all the time trying to get them crimped properly. But those ones are really, they've got like a two sections of it that just make it a two-step process and it works really, really well. So we're going to put the loop with the bead in here. I'm going to close that up. Make sure that's closed properly. Here. There. And there, I mean, it's funny. It's funny with the bead dangling, but I like it. It's super cute. So in my sample, I put some little whiskers on there, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I want to do those or not, because I don't know how well they would. Let's just try it. I don't have to use them. Let's just try it. So if I use maybe even a small, like a 26 gauge, let's try it because I don't have to use it if it doesn't work. So if we cut about three, four inches and then for the whiskers, I don't think they're going to hold in place. So let's just try it anyways. Adorable. Aw, thank you. That's fun. I love that expression. Paw adorable. Or paw, paw, perfect. Perfect. Perfect is the P U R R fict. I used that expression pretty recently and I don't remember. I think it was with one of your things, Amber, that I was commenting on one of your things and I used paw an iteration of a paw 
word and I forget what it was, paw affection maybe? Maybe it was paw affection. I think I said that would about one of your artworks. Get the name of Myrta. Um, and the names. I think I missed something. Every now and then I miss I miss some comments. So, but I'm glad you're able to answer each other's questions. So this was the idea. If you have a little thing like that, and then I'm just gonna try this. It doesn't have to. I don't have to use it. So the idea would be to do three whiskers, but you don't want rough ends. Otherwise it's gonna be scratchy. But if we did something like this and clipped it and pinch that in here. So that would be the idea. What you had something like this that might be whiskers, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna use it. And then the idea would be to stick it in here at the side and I don't know if it's going to hold in place. That's the issue. So if we just bring this one in here underneath. I wonder if you would do it over top too. Let's just see if we brought this one. And it might slide. That's the only thing I'm thinking about to here. And it might flip. Yeah. It's going to flip and slide. So I won't keep it. But... I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Cause if I, if I, it's kind of cute, but it's gonna flip and it's gonna slide. So I won't, I'm not gonna keep it, but that gives you an idea of where my head was going with that one. But I think we're gonna keep it simple. And then the other thing you could do if you wanted to would be to do a little bow, which is also optional. This wire's a little stiff. This is the, I don't know, this one's a little stiff. This is the 20 gauge wire. Oopsies, fell on the floor. Uh, loop in the middle as the nose. Yeah, I think that would work better. I have some of them over here where I do like a little loop in the middle to add the whiskers and then there's a nose. But I think for this one, I'm gonna keep it super simple. You can definitely do something like that. It's a great idea to help fix it in place. And for this one, I think I'll keep it simple. I'm going to just see about doing a bow. And then if I decide not to do the bow too, that's fine. So I'm just going to play with this for a sec. And then we'll decide. Here, there's an airplane. I don't know if you guys can hear the airplane. We don't get a lot of airplanes. I mean, it's cute. The bunny bow is cute. Uh, whether it's going to be easy to attach or not, I mean, it's maybe not necessary. So again, this is something, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys can add if you want or leave it plain. So I don't know if you guys like the bow or not the bow. And let me just look for my other gauges of wire because that one... It's a little stiff. Attach around one ear. That's an idea. Yeah, that's an idea. Instead of the middle, around one ear. Cute. Let me try to do a smaller one. I also had this bunny with the flowers that I was uh, thinking about as well. So let me just take this one for a sec. The bull was cute. Okay, so let's see. If we, let me just try with the thinner wire. I just... A little bit worried I'm gonna have trouble getting that one to stay so if we take this one down here and bring this one up here okay and now we're gonna take this one and bring that one up and maybe we could do that thing where we fill it in a little bit I don't know how well it's going to work. We can try it just to make it. Oopsie, so that's going to be tricky to get it to come in here. Okay, so that's that thing where we try to fill it in a little bit, which isn't always easy. This is where you need those 
teeny tiny pliers, which I tried to do some before with those little glasses making tweezer things, but it didn't quite work because you couldn't quite grip the wire, but you could kind of do it a little bit like that. So there's one. And then if this one, we tried to do the same thing, maybe better with the flat pliers. Okay. And then this one across. Yeah, I don't know if there's ex actually exists pliers that you could, that have a teeny tiny end because there seem to be tweezers, but maybe not actual pliers. So I'm not sure about that. Let's bring this one in a little bit. So there's the idea of a, like if a bow, a bow type of thing, which is quite cute. So if it was in the middle, it'd be like that. Or at the side, it'd be like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or that way, maybe. I'm not sure. And then there's this one. Mm -hmm. Which is cute, too. Like, maybe the plain bow is better. This one's maybe a little ornate. And something in the report thing came up. Ooh. Oh, no, don't report. Don't report anything. That can happen, though. I've definitely hit buttons before that I wasn't sure about. So if we just did the bow and stuck it through there, it would look something like that. I mean, it's cute. It's, oh, it's hard to see for you guys. There's that or without the without the bow. Because if you're going to attach this one, you'd want it. I think I'd rather have 22 gauge wires, something in between. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to keep these at the side. And I am going to put this over here. And let's go ahead and do, I also like the basket. And I also like the wreath. But why don't we go ahead with the wreath and just play around with that one. So for the base, I'm going to use some 18 gauge. So we have the 18 gauge cut probably about six to eight inches. And I need a pill bottle. I can find one. I have my round forms. So I reach in my cover. There we go. So I have these that I call my the eggs. Yeah, the eggs are cute too. Yeah, we could definitely do some eggs as well. So let's try this one. And whatever I don't get done on the live, I can always do after and post pictures of them because you guys get the idea of how it's how these things are constructed. So it's okay if I don't get them all done. So we're gonna bring this one around for the wreath. So that would be the circle. And we can keep it simple. Maybe I'll just finish it in the same way where I do a loop at the top. Could be, could be a bigger loop like this. Let's just start with one loop here. So we're gonna start there. Give it a clip. So that would be the one loop. And then we can do the same thing where we do another loop here. And you could do the loop another way where you attach the wires and then make the loop at the top. I think this is the way I did a sun catcher before maybe where I did the loops. And then I just lined them up. I mean, there's lots of different ways that you can do that. Let me just pinch that one closed a little bit. And then this one too, just pinch it a little bit so it's flat. So if you wanna start with a kind of a round form, that's the 18 gauge. I'm hoping it's gonna be big enough. And why don't we do the bunny out of gold? 
Uh, that's 22 gauge, 20 gauge gold. I thought I needed 20, 20 gauge gold and then I realized I had a bunch in the basement so I didn't have to order any, which is good. So now we are going to get some gold to do the bunny. Let's just bring that through here. Okay. Okay, so I don't think we need that much. Maybe about six six inches probably is plenty, I would think. It doesn't have to be so big. I'm just gonna clip that end off. And I think six inches is plenty. So if we cut that, we could have maybe even done 22 gauge wire might have been good for this. And I think if we do a bunny kind of on the side, I'm going to put this over here so I can see it. Yeah, I would like to do those eggs too, but I think they're going to be pretty quick to make. So that's good. Bunny, how, how do I want to finish it? Well, definitely we'll start about in the middle because we don't want to finish it on the ears. So let's just go ahead. They're kind of back a bit, which is interesting. And we're just going to, we don't want it too big. I could have made this bigger too. I definitely could have made this larger, but I don't want to take too much time. I want to just give you guys the idea and then you can go to town with it. So here's some funny little bunny ears. And we're going to bring this one out and around. Okay, around and then out, this would be for the holding the carrot type of thing. And there, bring this out for the little belly. And then the foot. So I could also do, sometimes I do the legs this way where it goes back into the body so you can say see the leg a little more defined there and then out and out so is this going to be too big no it's cute so i think we might have to fix it up a bit straighten it out a bit flatten it out a bit okay perfect okay there we go Okay, so there's bunny, and then we need back of the bunny. Bring this one around. She's gonna be a little chubby bunny. And we need the tail. I mean, we could just do a stylized tail like that too. So if we do something like that, hopefully it's slow enough. We're gonna bring this one back up, bring those in. So that would be kind of the bunny here. It's going to attach it like that. I, I could um, do a line across the bottom, but I might cover that with foliage type of thing. But the question is, is this bunny even going to stand up? That's my question. It's going to bring this one around a few times, I think. Because we can cover these wires with the green wire, with the flowers, or the things like that. So let's just take this and clip it. And see if that's in a good place. Yep. And then we're going to attach this wire. We want to make sure the bunny's around the bottom here. The bunny's a little bigger than I, than I thought it would be. And the tail... I think I want the tail a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that's in the right spot. Maybe bring it out a little bit more. We give that a bit of a pinch. Get in there. And then I think I wanna make this tail a little bit bigger. But that's something we can do. We can just open this up a bit. And I want it to kind of go over the bottom a little bit. I don't know if we can do that. If we bring this, <clears throat> excuse me, and kind of bring it down over that wire, it just 
makes it look a little bit bigger. Maybe it's too big now. And then this, this wire, I think we're just gonna finish down here because I really want this to not flip, but I think for it to not flip, we're just gonna have to go over it with another wire. So if we start like this, we have our bunny, the bunny's super cute. And then we're just, I think if we add things to it, it probably will stick a little better. So let's start with that. Now the carrot, I don't know if I have orange wire. I have this, which is not really orange, but I could probably use copper. Uh, I do have 22 gauge copper, which I could probably use. That might be better. I was thinking to use beads, but I would have to dig through my beads to find, because I was thinking to do a beaded carrot, you can just use some different size beads, but I don't really feel like digging in my beads. Uh, I saw my bunny bookmark from the challenge. Awesome. To make a tree of life with the bunny in the front. Yeah, I could do a tree. I I did, yeah, I did do this one with the tree, but I think for this one, I'm just gonna do the uh I'm just going to do the wreath and maybe another time do the tree. But like I said, you guys can do any of these that you want to try for sure. So now I want to make the carrot so I could either make it as a kind of spiral thing, or I could do the outline of a carrot. But say we did want to do the springy carrot, we're just going to have to take the end. This is where I take my glasses off because it's pretty fine detail. So we're going to take the end, we're going to cut it flush here, and take the end and bring it in make it as small as possible. If you need to make it smaller, you just pinch it in. Okay, so now let's try to do this thing where we just bring it up the pliers, but we're making a kind of tapered coil. Let me bring it up. I'm not sure how big the carrot has to be. We're just going to bring it up. And then if it gets to the point in the pliers where it's not round anymore, we can find something else. Like say you get to the point in the pliers where it's not round anymore, then you get your bigger pliers. And then those fit in there. This is gonna be a big carrot. Okay, so now squeeze it back in. I've made earrings like this, I think, on the live stream last year. And there's your carrot. That's quite the carrot. So now we need green. Let me get green. So we have 20, 28 gauge wire, which is very thin. And we also have 24 gauge. 28 gauge. That's no, that's 26. No, let's try 24. Let's grab a sip of water. Hmm. Okay, doke. So let us get some green. 24 gauge is a nice weight. I really have to get more colored wire. I think I'm gonna hop on the on the Amazon to the artistic wire page and buy a bunch more. <laughs> A wire because I'm running out of colors. So now for the the leaves on the carrot and we're going to want to attach it down here. So I think what we can do is take this. Is this big enough? It's pretty good. We can maybe make it a little bigger. We have what we have the wire, but I don't want to make it too much wider. So I'm just going to maybe it's even going to get smaller at the top. I guess it could taper to getting I guess you could do that. You could just taper it in to get smaller at the top because it does get smaller. 
Okay. There, I think that's all right. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. So now, first we need some greens for the carrot. You could do them spirally as well. Um, just think about what I want to do. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, you can make a bunch of little spirals for the carrot, or you can make them more carroty, which would be just kind of back and forth type of things, I guess. I'm not quite sure the best way to do carrot greens. Um, let's keep it simple, I think. Yeah, you could definitely do these more like spirals. Or there we go. You got a deal, a good deal on colored artistic wire. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm running low on some gauges. I have quite a few because they usually send me stuff, but they've changed their format, so I just have to order it online, and they they reimburse me because they they sponsor the channel, which is amazing. So I get like pretty well get free supplies, which is nice. So thank you to Artistic Wire and Beadalong for the wire. I definitely appreciate that. It helps. And um, yeah, it's really, I even if they weren't promoting my channel, I would definitely buy their stuff because it's just so far the best quality that I've found. And I like the way it works. I really like the way the, the artistic wire feels. I like the way, oh, this looks cool. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this one around and then maybe do an, I could do another one or just use this. Let's just put this one through here. We do need an end to, to attach it to the attach it to the um, frame. So if we're taking the carrot and we're putting in the one of the green ends from the why isn't it going through there? I guess I really, really closed that end. Hmm. Let's try to open it up a bit. Glasses off. And I think we just line that up a bit. We should be able to get that end through. So let's take that, put it back through. Yeah, so that goes through. So this ends up being like the carrot here. You can kind of see it in there, there. I don't need too much greenery. So why don't we just finish it there? First of all, we are going to clip the hopper end. And we're gonna clip that off. Okay, and then we're also, I think we're gonna clip this one off because I don't know if we need any more greenery. Let's just, before we cut it, let's just be sure. Mm-hmm. Bring that one in. Okay. okay, so let's see if we need more. So if that's the carrot, ginormous carrot, hopefully it's going to be, it's almost too big, that carrot. But at this point, we've already done it. We can curve it out a bit, I guess. But I think, I don't know if we need, maybe... I could have used this to attach it to the bunny's hand because is he holding? Yeah, he's kind of holding the top. So maybe that would be a good idea to attach it to the bunny's hand. That's a large carrot. I mean, I could make it smaller. Yeah, if you're if you find it's too big, we can just pull it back a bit. I mean, it's all right, but maybe it's too big. So I'm just gonna. Trim a bit off, bring this end in to form a circle. Okay, I think we're gonna do it this way. It's, it's a little bit smaller. And now we can pop this wire down again through the carrot. And then we're going to attach it to the bunny's hand, but what we'll do, yeah, paw. So we're gonna take it through there because you really do need it attached in a couple of places. And we're gonna take that, 
put it through the paw. Make sure it's right through there. Gonna bring it through and go through maybe twice. So it's really, really stuck there. And okay. so that's attached in one place. And then this one, it still goes a little beyond the frame. But let me just pinch this in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to get this wreath done today, but we're going to see. And Amber, if ever you have to leave, you just tell me because that's not a problem at all. So we're going to pinch that in. We don't get like spam people much anymore so that's a good thing i always appreciate when you delete you know people that are spamming but this is quite this channel is a little on the down low we haven't had any problems yet so there i just clipped that off and now we're going to bring this one down and attach the carrot so it could go over his paws i guess let me just see where over here i didn't I'm just going to push these together a little bit more so the spring is more closed. And this can come down here. And I don't want it covering the bunny too much, so maybe just here. And then what I'm going to do is just bring this one back and wind it through. There, we're just going to wind it through here. Maybe we can use the extra bit to make some leaves because we're going to make some leaves anyways, like other types of leaves. So that's what we've got so far, guys. And I'm going to use that to make a leaf after. I'm going to put my glasses back on. And now let's do some flowers. But I need some, I think, 22-gauge wire maybe for the flowers. Let's see what colors I have. Because I have some 24. 26 is going to be small. Let's see if I have more 24-gauge. No, that's... I'm not sure why 20 gauges in my other container. This is 26. Uh, 26 is a little thin. I have to clear out some of this wire. I have a little too much colors that I don't always use. Now I have these that I'm not even sure what they are. I think they're 28. And I have 20. I don't have much in the game, name of in the size. 22, but I have, I do have some red. I do have some red, and I have some, looks like burgundy. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, oh, Kristen, hello, hello, how are you? So W World Peace is my sister, Kristen, and that's nice that you can hop on. She's not always available. The other thing I thought of doing was daisies. But I would need white wire with a yellow middle. And I'm not sure I have white wire. Uh, I don't think I do. I had some. Oh, I do have. There, look at this. I have white. But see, I don't think it's going to super show up if I do white wire. So maybe not that one. And looks great. Thank you. So let's do some little flowers. I haven't decided if I'm going to put beads on these or not. So if we're just going to do some little flowers, it's a bit like we did, remember, with the flowers in the heart we did a few weeks ago for Valentine's Day. It could be like the same types of flowers. So we're going to take this one in and out and in and out and in and out. Let me know if you guys are traveling this year, What if anybody has any travel plans. I know Corey travels a lot. And um, I'd like to travel. I'm just not sure when and where. So one day. But um, I'd love to go back out west, of course, to see Kristen. And it would be awesome if I could see you, Amber. But you're a little bit further down. And I guess it's easier enough to go over the border these days. Like It's um, not that far, I don't think. I have to rent a car or something. So one day, 
one can always dream dreams of traveling. So now, if I'm going to do a attach this in the middle, so we could bring this one up in the middle here. Yeah, last time I went out west was for my nephew's wedding, and that was 2017. So it's been a while. There we go. I'm going to bring this one around and around to do a kind of a spiral thing there. Let's see if that's going to stick all right. And then we can do flowers on there if that's what we decide to do. And I mean, it would have been nice to have some kind of bead or something in the middle. But I mean, let's see what we, because the beads are a little big. If we do do the beads, let's see. To St. Louis, Missouri, for the eclipse, of course. Yes, a lot of people are going to, for the eclipse. I think we can see it in Montreal, too. But, um, yeah, I'd like to see it. Hopefully it'll be a clear night. That would be cool. Okay, so let's just do a few flowers and see what we're going to do with them. Here's the 20. This is the 24. And, oopsies. I think that type of flower is nice. It's more, it's like a, just a traditional basic flower. I don't think the, the daisies are gonna work. So let's just do something like this. I mean, that's, I have another flower that I do that you just take this and you form a kind of the petals. I don't know if it's gonna work if it's so small. Let me remove some of this stuff. Okay, so this type of, flower, you would just take this and form the petals around, I don't know how many, six, maybe more or less. And trouble with doing it this way, sometimes the petals get smaller as you go. But we're going to see if this is actually going to work. Maybe one more. Okay. And... And then the idea is you separate them, spread them, but we're gonna see if it's gonna work for this size flower because this is very uh, small. This works great. I have a tutorial for daisy earrings and it's um, this idea where you do this and then you spread them and it just makes a different kind of flower but i think it works better with the bigger size but we're gonna see mm -hmm. it's cute though i mean it's not too bad it just makes a different style of flower and then what we can do is what we could do for the last one is we can just bring it up and then bring it to the back, like bring it to the opposite side because you want the wires to finish on the same side. So if you do it that way, it does make them finish on the same size. I mean, in theory, you can do them one by one and alternate them though. So that, that makes a cool little flower. And then we can maybe bend this one straight up. And I don't really have any small beads. So I think I'm gonna not do the beads. And I'll just bring this one, one that way, and then one push the other way. So then you have a flower, looks kind of cool. And it looks different than the other one, which is nice. And then we can attach it maybe down here. We also have the red one. Cool, very cool. So now that we've got this one here, so I think they're both interesting flowers. So why don't we go ahead and attach this one? I'm not gonna overthink it too much. And if we bring this one around, hopefully we'll be able to attach some green wire to help these so they don't flip. That's the issue is getting them to hold in place and not flip. So we've got that one and then we're gonna do this one here and then we're gonna do one more flower because odd numbers are always good. So we're going to bring this one down and around. 
Cool. And so we've got that. Oh, looks a little funny with all that red, but we might change that. So now we're going to put a flower. I think I had two ones on this side. So let's do one here. We're going to put this so the, be the wires are on the opposite side. We're going to put this one here and bring the wire around a few times. I'm going to, maybe I'll keep the wires under the flowers so they're not showing so much. So we're going to clip that one and then this one. Yeah, um, Mark made a little contraption out of a toilet paper roll to look at the eclipse so it wouldn't um, hurt his eyes because you don't want to hurt your eyes with that. But I think you can also buy those like little boxes that you can look at the sun without without actually looking at the sun with keeping your eyes. You want to definitely want to keep your eyes safe, that's for sure. But um, yeah, he made it on for March fifth because he thought the eclipse was March 5th and then I'm like no it's in April so hopefully he kept it and he's gonna look at it through his toilet paper roll on the 8th it's 8th of April I think it is right there we go so let's just bring this one in a little bit okay perfect so we've got flowers coming along let's do one more flower color is Ah, what have I got? Maybe blue? Although my blue is not the right color. This is 26. It's going to be skinny. but So then we'll have one 22 gauge, one 26 gauge, and one 28 gauge. No, not 20. What did I say? 22, 24, 26. So let's do another flower. And... Let's try what I was saying, where we take this glasses for the eclipse. Cool, very nice. That's amazing. If you take pictures, send them my way. I'd love to see that. Okay, so we're gonna take this, bring this one in. So there's one petal. So what we could do is do them by hand. So we brought one to the back and now we're gonna do one to the front. So let's do it this way. And that way, they all stay on the same level. So we're going to bring that one and then this one to the front. And then over here. And this one to that side. We're just alternating sides. So they look like daisies. They're, they're actually look... They're the kind of flowers that end up looking like a whole bunch of hearts, which is cool. But it's hard to do them small. Works well, though. They all stay on the same level, which is nice. And I've got goggles. Oh, cool. In the 70s. Wow, that's really funky. Very fun. And there we go. And bring that one up. Uh, yeah, we have a planetarium in Montreal. It used to be downtown, and now they moved it somewhere. I'm not sure well, where, but there's a pretty active, um, you know, astronomy groups in Montreal. I have a friend who's an artist. She's an avid astronomer, and she does a lot of art-related to astronomy and I have a piece that she did it's so gorgeous is she was living I guess she does a lot of artist residencies so she was living in some tropical climate where there's typhoons and storms and everything and she did a series of paintings where she would paint on the canvas and then she would bring it out into um uh, bring it outside and put the canvas while the paint was still wet in the storm and then it would create patterns of the rain in the in the canvas which was really really cool so I have a piece of hers that she did with that technique and uh, it's really really cool I should post a picture of it so 
I'm going to try the bead, but I think the bead is too small. But this is the idea. If you did want a bead, it looks pretty actually, but it's just maybe not as consistent with what we're doing, but it's definitely pretty. Let me just see without it. Yeah. If you're doing this, you could definitely do the beads, but because I'm, um, I haven't been doing the beads uh, on the other pieces, I don't think I will. So what I want to do now, this is getting to be a very full flower. I think I will go do, I'll go ahead and do another one because I forgot these have to, these should maybe finish on the same side. Although maybe it doesn't matter. I'm going to bring this one to the back. So we have, okay. So we have one's going one way and one's going the other way though. So I'm going to just bring the wire back. Okay, so, oops, no, what did that do? I grabbed the wrong thing. So we're going to bring this one back. So now we have, that's a lot of petals. Anyways, one of the wires is going one way and one of them is going the other way. Maybe I could tighten up the flower a little bit if I bring the the petals a little bit closer. I'll just tighten it up a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should be all right. And we just want to bring it right in there. Yeah, this wire is pretty flexible because it's very thin. So here's the flower. Goggles in Spanish. Gafas de protección. Cool. So now we have this flower can go here or we can put it here either side. Maybe I'll put it on this side. I wanted to do the bird's nest too. Actually, I'll just try to con stay consistent with what I've been doing here. So I'm going to put this flower here. It's a little big maybe, but if it's too big, you can remove a couple of the petals. So what I want to do is just fix this in place. We're going to bend it a couple of times okay, and clip it. Now I could use the beads for the, for the, if I want to put beads in a, in a nest to make the eggs. We're going to take this here and wind this one around. And then we'll go around after with some green to fix it in place. So we have flowers. Aw, thanks, Mirta. I would love to actually speak Spanish. I speak uh, French, so maybe that helps. Although my French is... <laughs> Not the best, but it's all right. I'm understood most of the time. So here we have flower, flower, flower. Let's do a little bird's nest because they're so cute. So for the bird's nest, we should put turquoise. So it's robin's eggs. So there's those. And the nests are usually brownish. So I have some. 22 gauge brown, which might be a little thick. So what about 24? Uh, this is 26. Uh, that's 26. What have I got in the way of 24? Huh? Hmm. Let me see what I have in 24 gauge for, uh, brown ish. It's also 26. I might have to use 26. 26. Here's the 24. Where's all my 24 gauge wire? Uh, hmm. This is 26. Okay, we put that back in the bag. It's all 26. Huh. Let me find it. Okay, here we go. So here's 24. And I don't have brown. I do have copper, but maybe not enough. Although the copper would be cool. Let's try it. I think that's all I got. Let's see if we're going to have enough. Let's throw that in the garbage. Yay! It actually got in the garbage. Okay. So pretty. Thank you. So here's some 24 gauge 
copper. And Amber, I'd say that's about 15 inches. We might not need it all, but we're going to put these on. So let's put on some beads. Mm -hmm. And that one. Okay, so we've got those. Oh, an extra one. So to do the bird's nest, usually you just take the beads and make a kind of a, a triangle thing and then just wind the wire around. I made one of these in a dog's age. So that's where you start with the with the bird's nest. So we just have the three together and basically you kind of wind it around like just messy messy so i haven't made one of these in so long we're just gonna go around up and down around up basically we're gonna use up the wire i guess i'm gonna bring this one around too and the other thing you can do is you can string it through a little bit Let me my tools so you could kind of feed it through a little bit and then that way it helps hold it together. And don't worry about it being perfect. In fact, you want it to be imperfect. This is where you want something to be imperfect because the birds don't make nests that are pristine. They just stick all their little bits and twigs and stuff together to make the bird's nest. So, so just channel your inner bird to make your nest. So we're gonna bring, oh, that didn't even work. So we're gonna bring this one around and around and around and through. And we just want to, I don't want it too big either. So maybe I should be careful not to make it too big. Okay, because I want it to go like on the edge type of thing. And this ended up not being too centered, but I do want enough of the twigs on all the sides. So I'm gonna just bring this one here under, around, maybe through here. Probably you can get away with about 12 inches on this. I'm just kind of using up what I have. Um, but I do want it to look interesting. So I'm going to bring it around, around here again, and around here. Yeah, just to try to make it look as kind of messy and interesting as possible. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. <laughs> Aw, that's fun. Nice. So now there's our little cute little nest. And now we want to attach it. So we do need these wires to end on different sizes. So we're going to bring this one around here and in here, I guess. So there. Okay. So now one comes out this side and the other one comes out this side and we need to attach it. So here's the nest. Super simple, and then we want to attach it here uh, as per my sketch. So it was a little bit above, it's more flat. Like ideally it would be interesting to have it that way, but it doesn't look too good. So we're just going to bring this here, attach it on here, wind it around a few times. There, okay, so there we go. So let's just clip that. Mm -hmm. And on this side, so we're going to do it here, around, and around, and maybe hook it onto one of those red wires just to fix it in place. So anytime you attach, like you wind a couple wires together, is this going to be a little bit more solid? So I just wound that in there and then now we can clip it. I mean, I'm doing this pretty quickly. If you're making a pendant, maybe be really sure your ends are 
Co uh, pinched in, so get your flat pliers and pinch them in. Okay, so what have we got? We have our bunny with the carrot. We have our we have our um, flowers. We have our nest, and oh, the bow. Let's do the bow at the top because that's an important part of the design. And then we can add some leaves. We're getting there, we're almost done. So where is our wire? Oh, that's the one I dropped on the floor. Okay, let me get my ruler and fish it in there. Whoa. I saw the cutest video on Instagram that Mimi sent me. It's a uh, guy's fishing in a river where there's a bunch of salmon and stuff. And the, so they're all fishing and they have a dog with them, a golden retriever. And then at one point, the dog just runs into the river, grabs the fish in his mouth and brings it to the shore. <laughs> and it's the cutest thing. Um, we sent it to my nephew because he's an avid fisherman. So uh, he thought that was hilarious. They're the cutest videos on Instagram, that's for sure. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. We've been on here for an hour. I'm glad you caught us. We're just um, finishing up a wreath, an Easter wreath, bunny, bird's nest, flowers, and now I have to do a bow at the top. And this might or might not be too big, the bow, but we're gonna see. So if we're gonna do a bow, we wanna do, bring it up like this, maybe curve it out a bit. I mean, we can also do that trick. We can also do the butterfly trick where you just do two at once. So we just bring it here and then we don't want it too big. We're going to bring that down and then up. So that's the bow part. And then we're going to bring it down out and down. Maybe this is going to be too big. And then out. So this might be too big. We're going to see. So this is the bow. And then what I mean by the butterfly trick is you just open it up. And then it's symmetrical, right? So this well, might not be too big. But the idea here is we want to bring it up. Uh, up here. And if we want it to look like a good bow... Okay, we, we will want to attach this to either side, okay, up here. But also, we want to have it, let me just take this. If I pick this to the back and this to the back, how is that going to look here? Maybe I should have finished this loop at the top a little bit differently because what I could do is put those through here that might work. And then wind it around. Let's try that. So we're going to take, we put the two, oh, we almost did. We're going to put these two wires through both of these loops. Okay. So those are the loops I did at the top. Putting both wires through. Going to hold this here and wind one to one side. This is one of those design things that we're going to try to figure out. So we're going to wind that one to one side and then wind this one to the other side. See how it goes. I got my sewing. I have 20 bunny pants baskets. That sounds adorable. Can you send me a picture of that? That sounds so cute. Bunny pants baskets. What in the world is that? That just sounds so cute. So here's attaching the, that's a really right bow. It's a little large, but I think we're going to just go with it because I don't take my glasses off. I, um, I don't want to spend too much time. So we've got that one. And then this one, I think we just have to tighten that up a bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So we've got that and that these are attached. This is attached 
And then these, I don't think it's going to flip or anything. If you're worried about it flipping, you can put, a, you could, you could um, wind it another time. But for now, I'm just going to cut this flush and that one flush and pinch it in. Design wise, it works. Definitely works. I'm going to push that one in. And then this side, we are going to push that one in. Okay. So see how it holds at the back? That help, that holds well at the back. Looks pretty good on the front. This goes up and there, okay? There and there, and we've got this loop here. And then this is the bow coming down. Now, if you wanted to make something a bit, bit of a knot or something there. Let's see if we can take, this is the same color, this is fuchsia. So let's see if we can take this and wind it around. I don't know if it's worth it, but we can take this and wind it around this part. And it might or might not be necessary, but we can try it. So if we take this and wind it around a few times towards the back, okay. It's kind of interesting. I think it looks good. And then this one too, we could bring it to the back. Just to add a little bit of something. Okay. So I'm gonna clip those ends and that end. Okay. So it just gives it a little extra something. Now these ends in there, not sure about, but that's all right. I think it's okay. I mean, I could have done that thing where I do a little bit of a chaos wrap in the bow to fill it in a little bit, but also I don't want it to overtake the design. Already I find it a little bit strong, but it's, oh, I squished my flower. There we go. Let's bring this one around. Yeah, I think maybe that was... That was a thin wire, so maybe a 24, 22 is ideal for these flowers if you have 22. So this is what we've got, and then we want to add some, we want to add a butterfly, but we also want a butterfly or a dragonfly there. And we also want to add some leaves. Okay. Now let us, I have this purple, which is 24. I can maybe do the butterfly with that. Let's see, because it would be cute to do it like I did in the sketch. So let's take about six inches and we can do the butterfly the same way. Let's remove some of these. So if we do the butterfly in the same way, yeah, 22 gauge wire is where it's at. I definitely have to get more. And let's do the let's do the butterfly like that. So if we do that, okay, around here. So there's one wing. And then we're gonna bring this one around and just keep it simple for the bottom wing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, remember the trick? with the butterfly. So we're gonna bring that one and open it up. Okay. So that's the shape of the butterfly, whether it works here or not. It's a little big, maybe. It's not too bad. I don't know if I love the color or not. You can also put some beads in for the wings of the butterfly or different color um let me just think it's a little bit plain but you can maybe put some other wires in there or some other beads or something i'm not i don't love this color it's not i don't find it stands out too much but i think maybe we're going to still use it what if we took this and bring this one around here to give it a little bit more detail. 
let's see if we bring it in to try to do that kind of chaos wrap here and bring it around to give it a little bit more detail bring that up and this too kind of does a shape inside a shape mm -hmm. and this one so that already helps it to have a little bit of a shape inside the shape type of thing and then maybe we can somehow mm -hmm. bring, bring these in a little bit i just find it needs to be kind of compressed a little bit let's get our flat pliers for that mm -hmm. and this one can bring that one in a little bit and that one so and then this part would be the antenna um and the oops okay so i mean it's a little it's a little crooked you can also do the dragonfly if you prefer like the dragonfly is also pretty easy so there's the that's the butterfly and the dragonfly is cute too so if we did the dragonfly let's just get an end piece of this wire where would you share it you can email it to me at uh, heatherboydwire at info.com and I can always pop it in the community section. Um, yeah, because it's not really wire related as such, but I would love to see it for sure. And if you want to share it with other people, I could share it in the community section. Yeah, sometimes I share my art stuff in the community section of my Heather Boyd Wire channel just when you know I, I know a lot of people that do wire are also interested in art and other things so we're going to hold this and for the dragonfly we just twist 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 don't need it too big and one more okay and then the wings go like that and like that and then we'll figure out which one we're going to use. So the dragonfly wings just go in and then back around here and then in and then up. So same on this side. We're going to also go to the back. So we've got that. Oh, this would be good around and then out and then in and then i mean we could do a bead head which might be cute so what if we did the if we did a fuchsia bead head be cute and let's just see if this is gonna work so if we did the fuchsia bead head the wires both fit in there. So that's cute. That's definitely cute as well. And I know people don't like it when I put um, antennas on the dragonfly. So what I'm going to do is actually take this here and um, I mean, some people don't care, but I do definitely have people that say dragonflies don't have antenna and which is valid, but sometimes I like to put them because they're decorative. So here I just finished one end wire there and brought the other one to the back. So now we have two spare wires that we could finish it off with. And we do want to separate these wings. So they're uh, let's see if we can just, there we go. It's Cause we want the wings kind of separated like that. I mean, they're not hundred percent even and then curve out the bottom. So this is the dragonfly and then this is the 
the butterfly. So you can do either or both. And then if you did the dragonfly, you can just stick it on there. I'm thinking maybe I should have put the dragonfly on the other side because it would have, I wonder if we push that flower up and do the dragonfly in between. I mean, we could do it that way too. And that way, I mean, the flowers would go all the around the wreath with might be interesting. Why do we do that? So we're going to stick this dragonfly over here. And I'm going to make sure it's going to stay. So I'm going to wind this wire around. Okay. And then you could catch that. If you caught the if you caught the blue wire, then it would help. Not only would it help the dragonfly, but it would help the blue flower to hold in place. So I'm going to grab this and put it in there. And did it grab it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it went right in between it. So that's good. And we will clip that. Mm -hmm. It just helps it from not rotating when all your wires are attached. So there's the flower. Here's the dragonfly. We can bring it down a little bit more. I find that that um, purple not the best. It's it's very pale. It's very pastel y. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring this one down here. And you know what? Rather than attach it to the to the purple flower, I'm going to get some green wire to do the foliage. Bunny pet treat bags. I could do that. Cool. I could definitely do that. Nice. Okay, so there we go. Bunny pets treat bags. That <clears throat> sounds adorable. I just wrote a comic about pants. That's so funny. It was uh, where I've been looking for pants for my dad. And so Mimi and I were talking in the car and I said, you know, in my dad's day, they called them trousers. And they also called them slacks. So maybe trousers is even an older uh, word than slacks. Um, there's the flowers. I'm just going to put this butterfly too, because, you know, why not? Um, yeah. So people used to call them, call them slacks. And then I said, oh, what else could you call? What else could you call pants? That's not slacks or trousers or pants. And I said, what about overall bottom? No, topless overalls, not bottomless overalls. And then Mimi's like, you can call them cutoff overalls. And I thought that was so cute. Oh, this is cute. So that was basically the gist of the comic. So there we go. So here's the butterfly. And then now I'm going to actually measure these the same size about there. And I think this would have bunny. I don't think his would have bunny tails. Hmm. There we go. Thank you. So let's just spiral these out. So there's one and the other one. Make sure you, if you cut them the same size, it's going to be easier to spiral these so they end up being the same size. So once you've done that, then you could just take them in your thumb and finger and wind them in. Well, it's really small, so you might have to use your pliers. So there is our, our butterfly with the spiral antenna. Super cute, somewhat neat, not too bad. Okay, so there, and with a little subtle head, it's good. And then to attach it, we're gonna have to get another piece of wire. So maybe just another piece of the purple so it, so it doesn't look too contrasting. Coveralls, bloomers, pantaloons. <laughs> Maybe not for my dad, but hey, that's cute. I like that. Dad, would you like a pair of, of pantaloons or bloomers? He might be into it. You never know. He's got a good sense of humor. There we go. So we've got that and... We're going to pull this one in and bring that one around. 
So there we have, it's attached to the wire. Now we're gonna have to do this underneath the, the butterfly too, to really make sure it's solid. So let's bring that round a couple times. And then, like I said, I could go around with the green after to put some foliage and that will also help to hold it in place. So now I'm going to go around here and actually I might even attach the neck around. If I do that, oh, it's gonna push it down a little bit, but that might work still. Mm, don't know if I wanna do that. It's kind of pushing the bead. What if I push the bead down? Wait, what if I push down the bead? Maybe I'll try that. And then go above, wind it around the, maybe that's gonna work better. If I wind it around the, above the bead, I think that's gonna prevent it from, from the bead sliding up. So let's try that. We're gonna bring that one over here and uh, clip that one. Okay, we're getting there guys. We've got that and that. Okay, so we got, ended up doing the butterfly and the dragonfly. And that holds in place. Keep in mind, this, this wire is a little fragile because it's, you know, some of it's 16, some of it's pretty good though. It shows you, it's pretty well exactly, almost exactly what I did in the drawing. Now I wish I had some little leaf beads or something. You could add some seed beads or whatever you want. But if we are going to add some foliage, let's just get another, I'm just gonna cut this right off of the roll, I guess. I don't need this much maybe. And if we're going to do some leaves, we can just take this and, I feel like this wire is really long, but that's okay. We're going to make some leaves Let's just bend it at an angle, out and around and down and around. Okay, so we're just gonna keep this simple. I'm just gonna take this and give it a clip. So if we wanna do some leaves, we could do some above if we wanted to. This is a big long wire, but rather than run out, I could just use this big long piece. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that my battery's still good. We're, my battery might uh, be getting low, so I might have to plug it in, but that's not a problem. Okay, so let's just go ahead and bring this wire through I think it's way too long, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one through. If I could hook it over that blue wire, it's gonna be better. And then it's gonna hold, it's gonna hold that daisy in place a little bit. So let me just try to hook it, hook it into that wire. And bring it through. I think that's gonna be good. So that's, I've already caught the daisy a little bit. And then I'm gonna come over here and just bring it around and then maybe do another leaf. It's a little leaf and we can maybe do another or a couple leaves over here maybe. So let's go ahead and do one here and down here. Okay, there's one. And wind it around, okay. And then we're gonna bend this a bit. And then let's do another one here. I think it's nice to have some with two and some with one. So if we go here, up there, up there, and back down, and then around here, and wind it around. Okay, so now we have those two leaves here. That looks good. And then we're going to bring it through. 
and wind it through. Okay, so let's push it through here. Wind it down and maybe have to go over the dragonfly wire a little bit to hold it in place so we can just lift the dragonfly wings up a bit and go down and try to jump over that pink wire. <clears throat> I might have to lift this a little more. Okay, bring it over. Yeah, it went over. Okay. And then bring it through. Perfect. Uh, so now we have the flowers, the dragonfly, and let's go under the dragonfly now, around and catch the purple flower. Okay. Um, try to catch. Actually, I'll just go below the purple flower. It's kind of hard to reach. So we can bring that one down and go underneath. And now we'll catch the purple flower at the bottom. Okay. You want to try to catch the wires so they're holding together. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's do some more, a couple more leaves down here. Okay. Good color. So now we're going to bring this one down and up. I should look up those bunny pantaloons while I'm online and then I can, we can all look at it together. Let me finish this and then I'll see if I can find, it was like a treat bag, right? Bunny treat bag. I'm going to see if I can find it. So we're going to bring this and do another leaf here. We're just making them stylized and bring that one up. Wow, we're almost two hours, guys. Let me know if you have to go, especially you, Amber. I know you have stuff to do. So we're going to bring this one around here. And so there's our leaves here. My leaves are getting bigger as I'm going down. That's not what I meant to do. but And then we're just going to take this and wind it around the bunny tail a little bit, trying to hold everything in place. I remember I was going to try to do something like some grass or something in front of the bunny. Maybe I can do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is bring this one around here since I have another green wire. And then I'm going to do another leaf here. So let's just use up this wire a little bit. Okay, and we'll do a leaf here. Okay, and down. Um, Bring it down here and around there. Okay, so we're going to bring that one around here. And I think that's going to be it for this end because we're going to run a wire, but I will get some more green going there after. So we have our, let's just finish up that end. So we have a leaf here. We've got this flower. We've got, this is busy, but that's okay. And then we're going to bring this one around and maybe move that one around a little bit too. Okay. So if we wanted to do some, maybe some little grass or something there rather than an actual uh, leaves, just to cut, I'm thinking just to cover this, I should have, what I should have done is I should have done the base in gold and then that would have matched that, but that's okay. So what if we just did some, little grasses or something. Let's see if we if it looks like anything. I'm just doing this by hand. Let's see. I mean, I don't know if it's necessary. I could just wind it around, I guess. Let's see. Let me bring this here. Yeah, I mean, it kind of just looks, so let's just try to wind it through, see what it does. Um, don't want to run out of this green as well. Let's just bring it around and up. Okay, and then maybe start doing a couple more grasses. Um, I don't know if I love that, but it's okay. I'm going to just try it. 
just like little bits of grass or something. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that. So what I'm going to do is pull it back. Okay. Sometimes you don't know until you try, but right now it's I find it's covering the bunny a little too much. So let's pull it back and straighten it. Okay. And get our oh, someone going. You're heading off, Corey. Thanks for hopping on. Have a great night. There we go. So now, yeah, it's a long live stream, guys. I understand if you have to go. So now, what happens if we just try to do a little bit of a coil for the bunny, for the grass? Because I found that the actual, like, trying to do grass looked a little funny. But what if we just coil some wire on there? And then if that doesn't work, we can just scrap it. But we can try this to see if it looks good with just a little bit of coil. I mean, it's kind of neat. Gives it a little bit of extra. I'm going to bring this one here. And up here, around. Yeah, I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you could leave it plain. You could do the frame gold so it blends in with the bunny. Or you can add a bit of grass. It's kind of interesting. Let me look at my picture. Okay. And you could also do some more leaves down here. So say we're going to take this, bring this through here. So on the foot side of the bunny, maybe I'll do another leaf or something because I did have some in my drawing. I'm trying to keep it similar to the drawing. So let's try to do a leaf just to keep it similar to the drawing. And then around. Okay. And around. Okay. So we have, there's a leaf here and we can do another one maybe here. So trying to do some kind of good composition. Trying to have it balanced. You just have to go with your instinct for that because sometimes odd numbers are good for balance and sometimes having like two and then a space and then one or things like that. It's nice to it's nice to work out a composition. Like I have two, I have one, I have one. So maybe I'll do another one or two up there. So to do that, you can either clip your wire and restart. But if you find your pieces are flipping and you want them to be a little bit more secure, you could just bring your wire like around. It's going to be around back anyway. So you could just bring it around and work your way up to where you want your next leaf. We're gonna bring that one around. So we're gonna bring it around here. We're gonna have just enough wire. So I brought it to the other side of the of the nest. So then we're gonna to wanna to have some more, another leaf. Maybe, I don't know if we want two or one. We have enough for two, but I also might just want one. So we're gonna do another leaf here. Out and around. And we can wind it around and see what we want to do next. Okay, so there is a leaf here. And um, maybe I want it pointing the other way because that one goes that way. So I just pointed it that way. And we're going to bring this one around back. And what if we did maybe another leaf because we're running out of wires. So I think I'll just do one there and I'm going to bring it to the other side of the butterfly because I'm really running out of wire. We're just going to hook it around the butterfly just so he doesn't twist so much. So there we have one enough to do one more leaf, I think. 
And it just might make it a little more balanced if we do one more. So let's just bring it up. Um, kind of wish I had enough for two, but I don't. So we're just gonna bring this one. Oh, I bet I have a piece that flew somewhere that I could probably add, but I'm not sure where I'd put it. I'll have to find it. Okay. There, right, so we can just bring that one in, bring it around, and that's pretty well it for my wire. Okay. Oh, yeah, thanks, Kathy. I, I was thinking, yeah, it's like a mini sun catcher. I think you could do it bigger as a sun catcher, or you can wear it as a pendant. So that's it, guys. It's pretty well done. It's more or less what we did, what was in the drawing, which is kind of cool. So here, here it is. I'm going to show you everything we made. So here's the, here's the pendant or sun catcher. And then we also did the bunny with the dangling tail. Okay. And we also did the first bunny. So let me know which is your favorite. We did the first bunny, which is really cute too. I'm really happy with them. I'm going to just grab my iPad and look up that bunny pants thing. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Amber. Okay, so now let's look at Google. So cute. Thank you. Uh, what was it? Bunny? Bunny pants. Bunny pants. Treat holder. Hmm. Oh, that's so cute. I think this is it. And there's free sewing patterns that you can get online. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Look guys, this is, I think this is what Kathy meant by the little bunny pants and it's a treat holder. Is there like a little tail at the back? Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. So let me look, let me just see if, if you can see. Oh yeah, there it shows you at the back. There's a little tail at the back. Okay, those are adorable. Oh my goodness. Now I wanna make, now I wanna make one. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. So just Google bunny pants treat holder or gift holder, and you will find free patterns to how to sew them. Here's one that they put cellophane in it. Oh my goodness, so cute. I love that. I love arts and crafts. That's really fun. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have the homemade stuff too, for sure. That's awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna flip the screen. And I will say goodbye. Oh, that's the wrong button. So let me flip the screen. There we go. I think we're good. So let me get in the right place. There we are. <laughs> Perfect. I've got my possible world shirt on. That's I have a friend that has a company in Ottawa and they, um, they do all kinds of cool arts and crafts and stuff. Let me fix my hair a little bit. I don't know what this thing's doing. Uh, I call that a cowlick back in the day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And thanks so much, Amber, for your great uh, suggestion to do Easter stuff. I will put a photo of everything in the community section so you guys can see up close. And I'll put some templates in the shop as soon as possible. And have a great Easter. Happy Easter, everybody, if you're spending time with friends or family. And uh, or if you're on your own and doing something fun, that's uh, that's awesome. Make art, be happy, do lots of things. That's uh, actually that's I'm going to link up Serena's uh, art page as well. I was talking about that earlier. She has an art group called Make Art Be Happy. And so whatever floats your boat uh, that you're doing on Easter, have fun. Thank you guys for all your great feedback on the work and we will see you the next time. Bye for now. Bye.